egyszer, egyszer új blog post, sorry, de minden updated content on the previous video was computer. The domain is provided by the Intel network, which is a different domain system. There are newsletter websites that funnels the site owner to create an interactive site. So, for example, you can have comments and find interesting posts on your site. Uh, it follows the password that because it's using the same cryptography as, as your uh, Bitcoin and wallet. And it has built in database server, which is also simplified in the QQQ way. The whole network support is also very important because uh, uh, almost half of the peers are joining, joining the, the real net network using the Tor network. So we still support this way. Uh, it works in every browser the operating system and uh, uh, it's also like an open proxy. So that's how it's easy to do the real life website without the login anything on the computer. So I want to show you how it works on this slide. So if you are uh, downloading the real website and uh, install it on your computer, uh, it creates a local web server. And uh, these web servers are already used to, to download the uh, DLS websites. So if you are downloading the DLS client, uh, you will see this page. This is the second page. And uh, here are some different websites I have created to show uh, the possibilities of DLS. Here is the most easiest one in, in zero one. So, this side we have just a little, are not served from any central servers or from hosting providers, but it came from the developers that visited before this site. Uh, I don't know if it's visible, but uh, there are new dots that represent uh, the, the fields of this website, and uh, the green bars are the computer that. We have just downloaded this page. So we have been uh, uh, in the green years, uh, in Europe, North like Africa, and uh, some from Egypt, Asia, and, uh, and from the European <coughs> Union, that uh, we have just used as I click on, on the link to download this page and the uh, contacts. So it's, it's, a, it's a simple goal that I use to uh, talk about uh, the, the development process of the journal. Uh, you can add comments. So it, it's, a, it's a very, very simple way to, to, to block something, to, to create a blog about something. Uh, uh, the other important feature are you can follow blogs. So, if you are click on the follow button, and then you can see if you want to follow the post or the, all the comments, and if you go back to this previous page, then uh, you will see uh, a very timeline that shows all of the time you are following. So, for example, if you are following the know, 10, 10 blogs, then you don't have to click on every day to see what who posts on it. But uh, we can see in a very style The other important uh, and interesting uh, side is the uh, real talk. It's a simpler uh, forum where, where anyone, anyone can uh, submit new topics and uh, other people are uh, able to add a little more uh, uh, contributions. Uh, there is uh, around uh, 2,000 uh, peers and uh, people who have contributed to this uh, page. And uh, here you can see it's still downloading the, the files. Uh, but this is only a one time process, so you only have to see uh, the previous uh, content uh, one time. And uh, after it's done, you, are, you will be only receive the uh, updated content later. And uh, you can also follow the, the content here the same way. For example, if you want to follow any new topics and go back and uh, 
Here we are all the same in the remote port of going and put it on this side. This is the basis of the area. Uh, this is how we can go to the VRF website. Uh, the other thing I want to show you is the hard trading with the VRF website because it's hard and very simple. Uh, for example, if you want to have a new blog, uh, it has a built-in cloning feature, so you can clone, for example, this side. And and if I push to the home button, uh, a new uh, site created meeting. And uh, if no someone enters this address, which is uh, also a different address, so uh, if, if, if someone sends this display to this address, then the site over under the picture because uh, they are using the same picture as the display. So, so the site's addresses are also display marks. Uh, so with the uh, new new site, that only you are able to uh, modify or someone will create it uh, because the network only has uh, the uh, modification that are signed by the this party uh, team. So this is a, a, a site that uh, that still yours and. Uh, no cost uh, anywhere, but, but uh, only on your phone to go and uh, someone can do something for us. Okay. And, and we have the same uh, options and the possibilities of the, of the uh, original beautiful site, you can follow it and uh, other thing uh, uh, you can also search in every content uh, you have uh, used uh, before. So, for example, uh, if I enter building, building here, then uh, uh, you can see all the different of the building that you are going to have uh, So, this is the uh, basis of the internet. Uh, I currently work in the Social side of the CR in Facebook or Twitter. And uh, later I will try to focus on new content uh, and creating the Lipa button that's also seen by the Deep QA, new site, model case, and uh, adding uh, bigger price support like the current network and uh, other other networks like ITP. Uh, yeah, so the benefits are zero for zero are, are 100 percent transparent site because there is no backend in zero net. It means you can review all the working elements of any site. So uh, there is nothing hidden from you. If you are visiting the site, then you can see the, the, the every source code that you have written uh, or the other site page that written before. And uh, it also means no backend for so you can institute the uh, database uh, CQI command directly from the other feature in one week to maintain two different uh, uh, code bases. And it also gives you instant CDN because, uh, as the visitor from the world visits your site, it also means uh, your site can be distributed around the world. And it could work on non entire networks uh, like uh, MapNet. Uh, because uh, the, the internet speed doesn't affect the, the side on the side of this case speed at all. So, so with uh, uh, slower internet, uh, it's auto work fine. It's uh, auto zero discrimination because you don't need to uh, ask permission from someone or pay any cost. Uh, and zero trust because you see this in the side of site because you're fine. Is there, is there like, uh, so if I, if I start browsing, is there like a limit to the amount of data we will be put on my machine? Yeah, yeah, every site has a uh, five to ten other lines for you. Okay. 
So every new set that I did, that I did it was uh, Yeah, I've got to go up to one, and up to ten years. Uh, and if you uh, want to score more than if you ask for one, so then you have to hold to it that you want to score more for the side of the value of that. So I have to Two, two questions. Um, the first one is, um, is there anything you do against someone putting your website online and then you don't offer resources? So like, I put my site and then I shut down my server. But then I'm, I'm, I'm using the network so that they store my information but I'm not using it anymore. So that would be the first question. And the second question would be, um, this looks uh, from a Let's say from 1,000 feet away, this looks a bit like IP address. So, could you tell us a bit what's the difference? Uh, the first question is, uh, well, the answer for the first question is, uh, well, your visitors are serving your site. So, so you can shut down your computer and your visitors will be serving them. So, I think it's not a problem if the site owner has no ability to watch the site anymore because. Uh, the visitors like your, if, you have, if they like your content or if they like your, your work, then they will serve it for you. So, so I, it's, it's uh, not necessary to, to, to the site owner to serve his or her own, own site. So there is no uh, default uh, serving in the zero So if you are joining the internet, you won't store anything on your computer until your your visitor site. So you are only serving the site, you are visited before and you have no DVD. So uh, I can say you are serving the site, you are like you are likely to serve for other people on the world. So I think the visitors are serving the, the pages that they are liking and so they don't like for the site of that. The other question for about the IPFS is IPFS is more like a free solution and it's not what it really focus on dynamic content. The only thing is that for dynamic content that's uh, easy to update later and uh, modify by the site uh, by the site of that. And it's also uh, has uh, other uh, different like and for connected support and they will create a product site and, and their uh, and IPF is more like a general condition for for uh, PPP storage. Yeah, question. Do you have a way to, to ask on this network of people using my blog to forget about my blog at some point? I don't want to share anymore anything. Because my worse part of my life and I'm able to get rid of that. Uh, well, it will let you ask how to remove that content or? Yeah, I, I have to shut down, I, when I shut down the server I can expect that potentially that it will not be accessible anymore. Now it's spread all over the world, how yeah. can I shut down all these things? Um, yeah, it's, it, it's, uh, it's a two, two handy, you know, a two side of the way. Uh, yeah, it, it's harder to, to to disappear, to make disappear the content in here because it's used to be good around the world, but the uh, site owner ever to delete previous uh, uh, content that he or she has created before. So the site owner has the ability to delete everything and, and uh, probably it will be deleted by every, every field. It's, it's, uh, it's a current trick. Is there a way to uh, to browse in terms of like the like, like Google feature? Or uh, there is no Google feature or searching feature yet, uh, but uh, there are uh, sites that uh, containing uh, uh, other than like sites, so it's made easier to discover the sites on the real 